just as discrete random variables have their distributions defined by probability mass functions, continuous random variables have their probability distributions defined by probability density functions. So a continuous random variable x has a support set script A that is uncountable. The probability density function, PDF is the usual abbreviation, has existence conditions and the first existence condition is the probability density function must integrate to 1. You remember in the discrete case all probability mass functions had to sum to 1. And also f of x is greater than or equal to 0 for all real x. Now if you have a set A which is a subset of the support and you'd like to calculate the probability x is an element of A you simply integrate over that set A of f of x dx. Again in the discrete case we would sum rather than integrate. As a special case of that if you have real constants A and B such that A is less than B then the probability A is less than X is less than B will be the integral from A to B of f of x dx and this will be a very familiar picture from calculus. Here is the probability density function f of x. Here is x and it might have some distribution that might say look like this. And if you have an a here and a b here you know that the area underneath this from minus infinity to infinity is 1 but if you want the probability that x will fall between a and b that will simply be the area between A and B. One thing that is nice about continuous random variables, and this is not true of discrete random variables, is that the endpoints don't matter. <clears throat> if you want this quantity up above here, probability X is between A and B, that can also be written as the probability A is less than or equal to X is less than B, or the probability A is less than X is less than or equal to B, or the probability A is less than or equal to X is less than or equal to B. In all cases, you will simply integrate F of X between A and B to calculate that probability. And related to this, of course, is for any real value A, the probability X is equal to A is zero. And this is analogous to skating on the pond and falling at a particular spot.